Okay, so problem number three. Um, last year, a bakery sold W loaves of bread. So last year, it's W. This year, the bakery sold three more than twice the number of loaves from last year. So three more would be plus, and twice would be two times. So two times whatever they sold from last year, which would be two times W, but three more than that. So add three. So this is what they sold last year. This is what they sold this year. And then it says, if next year the bakery plans on selling twice the number of loaves from this year, then how many do they expect to sell next year? So we just have to do two times the entire value of what was sold last year, which is 2W plus 3. We're going to go ahead and distribute that 2. So we go 2 times 2W, which is 4W, and then 2 times 3, which is 6. So the answer will be 4W plus 6, which is D. Okay, problem number four. It says if 7P minus 4 equals 8, then what is the value of P? So 7P minus 4 equals 8. The goal is always to isolate the variable. So we want to get the variable by itself. Right now, the variable is not by itself because it has the 4 by it and also the 7. So if you're not really familiar with these types of problems, simply first get rid of the number that's not attached to the variable, which is 4. If it's being subtracted in order to get rid of it or put it to the other side, we would add 4 to both sides. So now it would be 7p is equal to 12. Okay, now what's causing the p to not be by itself is the 7. Right now the 7 is written right next to the p, so they're being multiplied. So in order to get rid of the 7, you have to do the opposite of what's happening. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So you divide both sides by 7. The 7s on the left side cancel each other out, and you're just left with p. And p is equal to 12 over 7. So the answer would be c. And problem number 5. Running at an average rate of 6 miles per hour... How many minutes would it take Kyle to run three miles? So, okay, I'm starting to see that we're talking about miles, we're talking about per hour, we're talking about per minutes. I can tell that we're having to set up a proportion. So six miles is run per hour. So six miles every one hour. Then they're asking about minutes. So I'm just going to make this fraction equal to um, how many miles per minute? So it'll be six miles and one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Okay, so now that I have it in minutes, they want us to say, okay, how many minutes does it take to run three miles? So we're going to set that equal to three miles over X amount of minutes. So now we're just going to cross multiply. So we're going to do... 60 times 3 is equal to 6 times x. 60 times 3 is 180 is equal to 6x. Divide both sides by 6. So x is equal to 30, or 30 minutes it will take to run 3 miles. So the answer would be b, 30.